we're now going to look at something a little bit different which is substrate bias so up to now when we've looked at the MOSFET structure we have uh, talked about the source gate and drain terminals and we put a uh, bias across the source and the gate we put a bias from the drain to the source but this body terminal <clears throat> we didn't really consider it we just said okay we're gonna connect the body terminal or the the contact to the substrate we're gonna connect that um, to the source and that's it but we don't have to connect it to the source we can actually apply uh, some bias between the source and the body terminal or the substrate and that is the substrate bias so what happens when we do this so this is the effect of um, adding a bias between the source and the substrate or the source and the body terminal uh, plotted on the y-axis is not um, I sub uh, not the drain current directly but the square root of the drain current and the x-axis is uh, VGS these different curves correspond to different uh, source to body voltages so initially uh, let, let's pick a, a particular VGS okay so let's pick um, 1.1 volts as the VGS so if I had uh, I applied 1.1 volts between the gate and the source and I wanted to figure out what my drain current would be or the square root of my drain current I would just follow that point up until it intersects this curve here and then go to the left and that's going to tell you the value of the square root of the drain current that's if I had my source and body terminals connected together so no source to body voltage no substrate bias effect but if I now put a bias between the source and the body terminal I'm not following this curve anymore so at the same gate to source voltage of 1.1 volts I could be on an entirely different curve say I put 1 volts from the source to the body so I need to see where it intersects this curve okay so this is my new let's call this uh, this is close enough so let's call this square root of ID1 so this is my new drain current square root of ID2 so by adjusting the source to body voltage I can adjust the drain current it's almost like changing VGS almost like changing the gate voltage I just have another knob to turn in order to adjust the drain current uh, in the MOSFET 